Ladies, gentlemen, civil engineers, seagulls, and household appliances, welcome on into another Timo Redbeard video. Yeah, I know. It's been a little while. I apologize. All right, I apologize. But today, we're going to be looking at structural support in Hearth and Homes update. I know this video has been a long time coming, and I do apologize for that. This is a update to the original structural support video that I did that got a good a good amount of attention and we're going to be looking at some of the new building materials and i think you might be surprised that there is a new winner so as many of you will probably know already the best way to support your structures uh so far um before hearth and home had been via iron beams iron poles uh and stacking these on top of each other you could stack stone up incredibly high and stack wood even higher however that is no longer the best option i've shown you here the maximum heights that everything can go but we're going to jump into it on a one by one basis the new dark wood is the exact same structural stability as the old wood and that is a maximum of 16 meters directly up but don't expect to be able to umbrella anything out at that 16 meter height without further support core wood of course is the same leading all the way up to 24 meters an extra eight meters on top the new carved dark wood pieces are coming in very shy at only 10 meters maximum and the new doors that have been added via dark wood can stack up to 12 meters and this is very shy of the old iron gates doors that can stack almost as high as iron beams glass cannot stack anything on it whatsoever it has a structural stability of absolutely zilch you cannot place things on glass it can only be placed on other things now we have our old contenders for the winner and our new contenders for the winner here iron beams the old winner and while it may look like is the exact same as the new iron two by two grates it's not quite Iron doors, of course, slightly shorter than iron beams, losing out by two meters here. Um, and the one by one iron grates actually losing, losing out by one meter to the two by two and the iron beams. Now, the main difference here between the iron beams and the iron grates is the amount of support that it gives before it caps out. These two do indeed cap out at the exact same height. However, you will notice that the support level of these core wood horizontal beams is going to be different. Here, over on the iron 2x2 two two grates, it is a nice green color, and over on the iron beams, it is a yellow. We go up another 4 meters, and we're already at that slightly horrible orange color that we never like to see. Yet, over on the iron grates, we are only just reaching the yellow. And then as we get to the slightly horrible orange color on the iron grates, we are already at a horrible red on the iron beams. And then the bright red matches on both sides between the beams and the grates. So whilst you can get no more additional height or maximum height out of the new 2x2 iron grates, what you can get is a improvement in stability lower down the rungs meaning that you can build large builds and this is already very large just here and get bright green stability for your wood that's coming out on top and again just to show you how tall these actually are those tallest core beams are being held up at exactly 50 meters above ground 50 meters is a very very tall building and of course there are ways to go higher by growing trees inside your structures to act as blue foundational support or even by using the dev commands to spawn in the construction carve that creates a landmass right below that you can terraform off of 50 meters is a plenty big number for building and you can now get there more safely and more reliably on the way up with iron grates another thing to bear in mind is the level that it supports stone now iron grates the two by two ones as you can see support stone to the highest level two meters above the iron gates four meters above the one by ones and four meters above the iron beams 
So if you're planning a big crazy build and you've got plenty of iron to spare, I would highly recommend using the 2x2 two two iron grates to structurally support your builds. Economically, the best to use is still iron beams. As iron beams, you pay 0.5 iron bars per meter with the 2x2 two two iron grates being one iron per meter, one by one iron grates also being one iron per meter, and the iron gates being two iron per meter. So the beams are the cheapest in terms of iron, but if you do have the iron to spare, the two by two grates are definitely an improvement in terms of structural stability. I hope you found this video helpful. I've been Timo Redbeard. I do stream on Twitch, um, twitch.tv slash Timo underscore Redbeard. I'd love to see you there. Uh, do stay tuned for more videos. Hit that subscribe button. And if you have liked this video, hit that like button. But otherwise, I've been Timo Redbeard. Peace out. Take care.